Today I'm going to show you a video on how to decorate a wine bottle with glitter. You can use stemless wine glasses, stemmed wine glasses, any kind of glasses, bottles. This technique will work with all of them. Um, but if you're going to want to run them through the dishwasher, then you're going to want to use Mod, the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. This I'm going to do a Valentine's decoration. I thought it would be pretty. So I'm just going to use regular Mod Podge. And I'm going to do it with red. Th this I got at Michael's and it's got to be extra fine. I feel that the extra fine works the best. So we're going to use the red or granite they call it and then a blush color. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started. What I did first was I made sure I cleaned the bottle. I just wiped it down and made sure it was dry. And you're going to need foam brushes. I'm going to use two of them. One's going to be for red and one's going to be for pink so we don't miss, mix up the, the glitter. And then you'll also need some kind of paper laid down so it'll catch your glitter. Now I took my Mod Podge and I just poured some in the cap so I can work with that. And I'm just gonna start with the bottom of the bottle and I'm only gonna do halfway up or so. And I'm not gonna worry about a straight line because I'm mixing the glitters and it's gonna be give it like a ombre effect. So you're just gonna wanna make sure you when you coat it that you coat your, your Mod Podge lightly. You don't want to put on heavy coats of it. So just give it a nice light coat of the Mod Podge. And I'm not going to bother doing the bottom because it's going to set on a table as a decorative piece. And this was just a wine bottle I was going to throw away. And I thought, well, I could probably do something with it. I try to always recycle and reuse. So once you get your little fine layer of the Mod Podge on your bottle, then you're going to take and get this out of the way. I have my scrap paper down and we're going to take, I'm going to start with the red glitter and you're just going to sprinkle it all over the bottle. And it's not going to look that good because you're it's going to take a few layers. So don't, don't um, get worried with spots sticking out and it's just not looking good. It will. It will look very pretty once we're all done with it. So we're just going to make sure we cover the whole bottle wherever your Mod Podge is. And you, you can see, I'm going to shake off a little, but you can see it's not perfect right now. There's spots that but don't worry about that. It'll all come together. So we're going to set this aside and we're going to let it dry in between coats. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to dry. So we'll let that dry and then um, we'll go ahead and I'll put the uh, next coat on, the pink coat. I'm going to go ahead and coat the second level of color. So we're just going to do the same thing. You're going to take your Mod Podge and you're going to do a light thin coat of it on the bottle and I think I'm just going to go up a little ways to the neck because I will probably put cord or something around there to decorate that. So what's going to happen is you're going to use just a little tiny bit of Mod Podge on this part and you're going to have your brush and it's going to hit into the red and glitter is going to come off onto this brush. So I don't want glitter all over the place in the bottle of my Mod Podge. So what I'm going to do is, and don't worry about the red coming up into there because it's going to blend in with the pink really well. So we're just going to go ahead and apply another, like I said, another thin layer of the Mod Podge. And then once we get that all applied, we'll go ahead and add the pink coating to this next. So, so 
So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do, I, I usually do on my wine glasses, I do about three to four layers of the glitter. It's going to depend on you, how you want the glitter to look on your projects. So I'm going to probably do three coats on here. Um, but I will let you know in the video description how much I actually do. So this is going to be how your wine bottle is going to look. And then we'll kind of blend in the edging around there um, once we get closer to the end. This is the finished product. I actually ended up doing four layers of glitter. I did the, um, the red and the pink like I showed you at the beginning, I did that twice. Then the third layer, I did the whole bottle with a thin coat of Mod Podge, and I did some red on the bottom, and then I did some pink, and they kind of mixed here, but it still was a line, and I didn't like how it wasn't blending the way I wanted it to. So what I did was, well, it was still wet. I kind of took the glitter and kind of went like this and kind of rubbed it so that it would kind of blend. And then I let that layer dry. Then the last layer, what I did was I had a um, baggie of the pink glitter with a little bit of red in it that I set to the side. So the third, the fourth layer of glitter, I Mod Podged it again, thin coat, and I took the red on the bottom, put red on the bottom, and I took the baggie with the pink glitter with a little bit of red in it and I put that on so the pink is really pretty now it's got little specks of red in it and then it goes down and then it kind of gives it that ombre effect and again on the last layer I kind of blend it again so that the red and the pink kind of just there wasn't a line there because if you don't blend you're gonna get a sharp contrasting line so it turned out pretty real pretty. I'm very happy with how it turned out. My red glitter, I must have used the wrong stuff. I have a lot of green in it and I had some from Christmas when I was making ornaments and the red had green in it. So, but it's still real pretty. I still like it. It's got the little flecks of, of green in there. So I did the four layers. It's up to you how many layers, like I said, you want to do. I like the four layers. Then what I did, what I found was that um, the 15 minutes to 20 minutes on the bottle, I don't think that's long enough in between coats. I usually go about an hour when I'm doing my wine glasses. I found that if when I waited the 15 to 20 minutes and I went to do my next coat, the glitter, everything wasn't dry enough and the glitter was kind of clumping. So I would recommend if you can wait an hour in between coats, I would wait an hour. And then, so I did the four coats of the glitter. Then I did two coats of just the Mod Podge to seal it. Just thin coats again, two coats of that. And then I did two coats of the Super High Shine Mod Podge. When I did the two coats to seal it, it looked all right, but I wanted it really shiny. And this stuff is really shiny. So, um... I use this on my wine glasses. I use this to finish it off. I just love the way that it looks. Some people use triple thick. I've never used that. I've seen photos and things look a little matted. They don't look as shiny. I don't know, though. I've never used it. This is my go-to for shine. So it's called Mod Podge Super High Shine, and it's a spray. And I would highly recommend you doing this outdoors or have your window open. It's got a very strong odor to it. So once that's all dry, what I did was I cut the love out of white vinyl out of my Cricut machine. And um, I'm not sure of the what font I used to cut that out of. But this was cut out of the Cricut machine. This on the top here, this is red sequins that I had. They come in a, a string like this. And I got this from a paper pumpkin kit through stamping up and I just had extra so I used that around the top and I just hot glued it on um, I didn't I, some of it's a little messy but I'm happy with it then I left a string of it hanging down and I took 
two hearts I cut out of my Cricut machine and I embossed them. I don't know if you can see, but they're embossed on both the sides and you can see it there. And I glued them together and then I took the silver heart right there and that's from stamping up um, some of the, I had some extras left and that's what's what's there and then I just kind of hot glued the string to the back of the hearts so it was super easy to make it was just time consuming and but it's going to look super pretty um, as a valentine decoration so you could do a few of these at different sizes um, there's a lot you can do with them so I'll go ahead and leave all this information in the video on